Speaking of Orlando, Florida, and parts adjacent to them, we've apparently hit on a gold mine of controversial material here with the stories from the fans going to Hogan's Beach Shop in, I think there's one in Clearwater and I think there's one in Orlando. Is there not? Is that what we've learned? Oh, I don't know. I didn't realize they had begun the franchising process. Well, I, th I think there is, there's more than one, but the one that we've been talking about, the one in Clearwater apparently is managed, run by Ron, not Opie or Richie, Howard, and he is his interactions with the customers have led some of them to write us and recount those. So we've got a few more now, and we've now we're we're getting we're getting the positive and the negative because few people have ragged on him, but now we've also got some people taken up for him. And the first one, though, an OG member of the cult, Lee Petrie. Lee has actually been there. And we know Lee, this is not just some fictitious bot out there. And Lee says, gentlemen, I have made my way to Hogan's Beach Shop in Clearwater, Florida on a few occasions in my travels. And while you've already covered most of the shenanigans spawned by Ron, not Opie or Richie Howard, <laughs> I thought I'd pass along a few nuggets that haven't been discussed as of yet. Number one, as for the 84 belt being authentic and costing $1,000, it's simply the silver and black belt with the black strap, not the big green. It was available on their website for a while, too, and it is an awful replica. <laughs> Number two, Ron is a fast-talking guy and loves to drop stories about hanging with Hogan, Jimmy Hart, and other locals and something to say about everyone. And if you were to picture what he looks and sounds like, it's very reminiscent of one Mr. Meltzer. Number three. And my favorite, in a discussion about some of the more unique items in the store, Ron mentioned to me that, quote, Vince lets Hulk do anything he wants with NWO merchandise, unquote. <laughs> to, to that end, there are some NWO items in the store that are not the trademarked logo and appear to be sold outside of the WWE's purview. Do you think Vince is letting Hogan do anything he wants with NWO merchandise in general, uh, Brian? Do you think there's any wrestler ever that Vince has said, go do whatever you want with my intellectual property? Um, I don't think he, there's anybody in life that he's ever said you can do anything you want with anything to. But Lee ends one last note. Looking at the site, Hogan's Beat Shop currently has the Ric Flair commemorative title and robe selling for $5,000. Let the buyer beware. Regards, Lee Petrie. But now... But now there's there's more because we got a an email from JoJo from Lafayette, Louisiana. Jim and Brian, I'd like to first of all say I've been listening to the show for a few years now, and you have one of the most entertaining wrestling podcasts out there. While I always don't agree with your views, Jim, I respect the decades you have put into the wrestling business. It's a testament to your love for the industry. So see, he's trying to ingratiate himself. I saw the two YouTube clips about Hogan's Beach Shop and Ron Howard. I've been going to Hogan's Beach Shop since the grand opening in October of 2012. I go to Clearwater Beach two to three times a year. Not once has anyone there ever claimed that the big green belt is the original. Hogan has stated many times that he doesn't know where it is and that it's probably in a dumpster somewhere. The beach shop sells replicas of most belts Hulk has won throughout his illustrious career. They do have the 1986 belt, the Bash at the Beach Jarrett belt, among others, that are original and not for sale. You can hold them for a picture for around $20. I've, we've heard $20, $25, $50, $100. $50. I have known Ron for 10 years. He's a nice guy. And I've personally seen him accommodate many of their guests, especially the young and handicapped. The stories from those... <laughs> well, I mean, he's like, he's, and now see, we're hearing... Another side of the coin, no. maybe everything's okay with Ron. Maybe if somebody just caught him on a bad day. The stories from those two other guests seem exaggerated at the least. Like myself, Ron is a strong Republican and Trump supporter. Oh, okay. But in no way does that make him a bad guy. Yes, in every way, in every single way that you can be a bad guy, that makes him one. Uh, but he says, uh, go, JoJo says, maybe you should, guys should make a trip down there yourselves. Go on a Monday. 
<laughs> and ch- and check out Hogan's Hangout, his restaurant a few doors down. What did he buy a strip mall and just Hogan is there every Monday for karaoke with Jimmy Hart and other special guests. Ric Flair has been there multiple times now, as he now lives in Tampa. Dennis Rodman, Brooke and Nick Hogan, Brian Knobs, among others, make appearances as well. It'll be the time of your life, Jim. Oh, my God. Oh, all I want to do is go and hang out with a couple of fucking Trump suckers and Brooke and Nick Hogan and Dennis Rodman. Don't forget Brian Knobs. Knobs ain't a bad guy. Oh, I'm sure he'll be a blast. Well, he, I didn't say I'd be there long. But he, <laughs> I've never had any issues. Well, so we got that. So now there's another side of the coin, but almost completely through the thing when he had me on the hook for that. Maybe old Ron Howard wasn't such a bad guy, that he's, but he's obviously a Trump supporter and whatever. Well, anyway. But now to bookend this, and we've done a reverse Stewie Griffin compliment sandwich. We're going to go back to the credible reporters. This is Devin from Martin, Kentucky. Hello, Mr. Cornett and Mr. Last. We're starting to get some more respect for you, Brian. Devin says, I've got another story about the manager at Hogan's Beach Shop, Ron Howard. I was vacationing in Florida with my family in December of last year, and I convinced them to take a trip to Hogan's Beach Shop. What a mistake that fucking idea was. We all wear masks, and the moment we walked in the door, the manager, who I came to find out was Ron Howard, began glaring at us. My 12-year-old younger brother was looking at wrestling toys in the corner and i noticed ron was talking to him i walked over slightly just so i could hear him and he was telling him roughly this wait a minute hold on he he uh sheep those damn masks so he i think this was possibly his computer because he started and ended the sentence with sheep those damn masks are mind-controlling agents that make people into the government sheep. Wearing oh that God. thing is their way of penetrating your mind. It was at this point I walked over and tried to politely take attention away from my brother without telling this, but how stupid he was. I asked him about some of the Hulk Hogan autograph posters and the prices he had on them. The first thing he did say was, anything with Hogan's autograph can easily sell for over $300, but I'll give you a deal on the posters. If you want one, I'll let you have it for 200 and you can take a photo with the real WCW world title for 50 Before I could say no thanks, and believe me, I couldn't get it out fast enough, he started spewing even more conspiracies and crazy theories. Quote, You know, by 2023, the electoral system will be completely run by computers giving us no right to vote. Joe Biden isn't really the real Joe Biden. Whoever is surgically manipulated to look like him is shorter has bigger ears and smaller eyes. They plan on taking control of our children through the media, and the masks are the first step. The government is starting to put tracking chips in all the masks, and soon those will control how people think. He went on a lot longer, but I don't want to relive much more of it. The thing I remember most about the experience was explaining to him that I wear masks because I have been concerned about COVID since day one. He refuted and claimed he had the virus three times. We've heard this in another email. And uh, and it never affected him because of natural immunity. He explained master useless until I pointed out the red Hogan masks that were hanging for sale in the store. We left in a hurry, and his brother told him once they left the store that the little brother said that Ron started con- trying to convince him to take off his mask and he'll let him hold Hogan's belt. <laughs> So anyway, we're we're getting conflicting stories, but I tend to believe the ones that we get most often, especially when the only one actually taken up for him came out and admitted he was a Republican and Trump voter. And says that he saves puppies and he kisses dolphins or whatever else they said in that email. Well, if you want to if you want to kiss a dolphin, that's up to you because these these things are allowed in certain circumstances. But make sure that you check the dolphin's ID first. He helps the handicapped and he walks old women across the street. Sometimes they don't even want to go. But he gets them there. You got to admire persistence. 